A question was asked that begins as follows. We make the change at the level of thought. Like in the review, it says, my mind holds only what I think with God. Okay, I like that, that it holds that. But at the same time, I have some other thoughts, you know, like uh, something at work, or like you said, that's seeing a guy club a little seal. Now, when I have that thought, do I bless it right then and there, or what do I do? How does that thought, uh, thought you know, I mean, like, am I supposed to stop right there when I realize I made a judgment? Do I stop right there and say, bless this, forgive me, or something? Or I just say, hey, that's meaningless, let it go. It's just to see the false is false. In other words, the first statement you made, my mind holds only what I think with God. Whew. That's just like I am as God created me. That's the ultimate release. But that's not where you start with because it's like all these attack thoughts and all these judgments out there in the mind. It, you know, it's be, it be denial, so to speak, to say, I'm not, I didn't think that thought. Ooh. You know, that's where denial and repression comes in because the mind literally tries to, doesn't want to look at those because it believes they're true. So it stuffs them out of awareness. What the Course is saying is like, when the thoughts come, when, when you see the judgment trains and you, and you hop on and everything, it's just to notice the thought. And, and the, the more you study this thought system, the more you will be able to recognize those judgment thoughts and backward thoughts. At first, it's terrifying because the mind still believes that they're, they're real, that they're true. And so that's where the guilt comes in. And that ultimately the release from the guilt will come eventually to see that, that that that's not me, that that thought's not me. Remember, we're trying to detach from the thoughts. So, as, as invested as we are in bodies and houses and worlds and clothes and everything, just imagine how invested the mind is to its thoughts, because it believes it's got this private world of thoughts in there. You know, like, see, I, well, I'm just, just saying so-and-so can't read my mind tonight, or this or that, because of what I'm thinking. You know, the underlying belief of the ego is, it's like, I'm a separate person, and at least I've got, a, I've got a pretty calm appearance out here, and oh gosh, if these people only knew all the reactions and judgments I've been having all night here, they, they really see me through who I am. The underlying belief behind that is the belief that, that I have a private mind, you see? A private mind is, is separate from, from Beverly or Vicky, you know. And that's a belief too. So the, that's a that's a deep one to start with. And that's why it seems like when you first start working with the course and you start all, all this stuff starts coming up, the guilt comes from look at these thoughts and they're me. You know, these are really me. The mind is not detached from the thoughts at the beginning. It really believes that those are really my real thoughts. And if boy if people only knew, you know, what was going on. And Jesus just slowly starts to say, they're backwards, mm -hmm. they're, they're the imposter. Well, Don't early on it says also that darkness can't hide, and, and you, even if it, you know, you wouldn't even want it to. There's no point in it. Yeah. <laughs>